If you've created something covered by copyright law, such as a picture, an article, or a book, and you want to give others permission to copy and redistribute your work freely, you can use Creative Commons licenses to grant those permissions. In a similar way, if you want to give permission to others to freely transform, or adapt, or create derivatives based on your work, Creative Commons licenses can help you with that. Creative Commons licenses are copyright licenses. They apply where and when copyright applies, but Creative Commons licenses allow creators to maintain copyright over their work while giving permission for it to be reused or shared. Creative Commons licenses only cover the copyright held by the person who applied for the license or the licensor, so the person who applies for the license needs to either be the creator or someone who has acquired the rights to the work. Creative Commons licenses work around the world and last as long as the applicable copyright law lasts and as long as the user complies with the license. Copyright provides legal protection for creative works, so those works without the copyright cannot copy, distribute, perform, adapt, or otherwise use it without explicit permission. Copyright gives people exclusive rights to control certain uses of the work by others, with some limited exceptions. Whereas traditional copyright operates under the default of all rights reserved, Creative Commons licenses operate under some rights reserved as a legal framework. They also cover similar rights, and include related and neighboring rights, but not rights beyond copyright and similar rights as defined in the licenses, and any other rights have to be managed separately. Also, Creative Commons urges creators not to apply Creative Commons licenses to software, as there are many free and open-source software licenses built specifically for software licensing. Please note that this video is presenting important concepts in Creative Commons licensing and is not intended to be legal advice. Further, this video reviews information related to the Creative Commons License Suite version 4.0, unless otherwise indicated. In this video, you will learn the four license elements and the icons that represent them, the six Creative Commons licenses, Creative Commons licenses and works in the public domain. You'll learn about the three layers of the Creative Commons license and a little bit more about fair use. The four license elements, by, SA, NC, and ND, combine to make up the six different license options. All Creative Commons licenses are structured to provide credit to the licensor and certain other information, such as where the original work may be found. The symbol means attribution, or buy. This license means that others who use your work must give you credit for it, attribute it to you in some way, and in the way you request. All Creative Commons licenses include this condition. The others outline whether commercial use of the work is permitted, and whether the work can be adapted or modified in some way or not. Share alike requires that if adaptations of a licensed work are shared, that sharing must be made available under the same terms or a compatible license. Using a license with non-commercial use indicates that it is not primarily intended or directed toward commercial advantage or monetary compensation. The no derivative symbol indicates that users are prohibited from sharing adaptations of the licensed work. From these elements, six Creative Commons licenses are available. First, the Attribution License, or CC BY. This allows people to use the work for any purpose, even commercially, and even in modified form, as long as they give attribution to the creator. The Attribution Share Alike License, or by sa allows people to use the work for any purpose, even commercially, and even in modified form, as long as they give attribution to the creator and make any adaptations they share with others available under the same or a compatible license. The Attribution Non-Commercial License, or by nc allows people to use the work for non-commercial purposes only, and only as long as they give attribution to the creator. The Attribution Commercial Share Alike License, or by NCSA, allows people to use the work for non-commercial purposes only, and only as long as they give attribution to the creator and make any adaptations they share with others available under the same or a compatible license.
An attribution, no derivatives license, or by ND, allows people to use the unadapted work for any purpose, even commercially, as long as they give attribution to the creator. And finally, the attribution, non-commercial, non-derivatives license, or by NCND, allows people to use the unadapted work for non-commercial purposes only and give attribution to the licensor. Adaptations or modifications of the work are not permitted. A final point is to use the latest version of whatever Creative Commons license is available as it reflects the latest thinking from the Creative Commons global network of legal experts. Creative Commons licenses were constructed using a three-layer design. The first code, the legal code, is the base layer and has the lawyer-readable terms and conditions that are legally enforceable in court. The second are the web pages that lay out the key license terms in human-readable terms. These deeds are not legally enforceable, but instead summarize the legal code. The final layer of the license design is machine-readable. That means it's written to be readable by applications, search engines, and other types of technology. With this metadata attached, a Creative Commons license work can be searched for using search engines such as Google Advanced Search and can be more easily discovered. Fair use exceptions and fair dealing also apply to Creative Commons licenses. No special authorization is required to allow people to use it under the fair use guidelines as long as they comply with them. Creative Commons licenses also provide you the option to take a no rights reserved approach, disclaim your copyright entirely, and dedicate your work to the public domain. The public domain tools are not licenses. They are a label used to mark works that are known to be free of all copyright restrictions. Unlike CC0, the public domain mark is not a legal tool and has no legal effect when applied to a work. It serves only as a label to inform the public about the public domain status. In this video, you've learned about the four license elements for Creative Commons licenses and the icons that represent them, the six Creative Commons licenses, how they work in terms of the three layers, fair use, and the public domain. For more information on these licenses, please visit the website creativecommons.org.